What's going on, everybody? Duxter, what's going on, my friend? That's right, it's Friday. Let's go. This live stream's going to be lit, I'm telling you what. Got to get everything set up. I was busy talking about all this chaos that has been going on. I was talking to a family member. So now I'm trying to kick it in gear and get everything squared away. Once we start getting everybody in here, it's going to be it's going to be pop and I can tell you that I'm excited to talk about everything that's been going on. Been a lot of silliness. Uh-oh, Duckster. Tim said he's running late. You're going to have to give him a hard time. Nora, what's going on? What is going on? Nora, do you notice your uh, logo changed? That's pretty freaking sweet. Duxer, did you remind your uh, your buddy to come on in? I'm trying to get through all these notifications that I got from everybody. I'm telling you guys, when all this stuff started happening, my phone just blew up. I can't even keep like, I can't even keep my phone charged because uh, so many people. Are messaging me asking me questions like what are your thoughts and it's like you know people don't really do phone calls anymore so it's like I gotta start texting and I text with my thumbs and then by the end of the day I'm like oh my thumbs hurt all right we're getting that narrowed away you're eating and watching he said he's joining all right we're going to educate him. Let's get him rolling. I'm sure he probably knows a lot. So guys, I made a ton of moves today. Um, you guys are aware of some of the stuff I did because I sent it to you. Um, there's Eddie. What's going on, Eddie? Appreciate you swinging by, checking out the live stream. This is, you'll see how we do things around here. We keep it hyped. We keep it uh, definitely on 100. Everybody around here gonna, is is very familiar with everybody. Oh, we're, we're diving into UAVS. Don't worry. So real quick, I'm going to kind of go over, guys, what I did today um, and kind of what I recap a little bit of some of the stuff I did for the week. So I started taking some notes for you guys. Uh, and the reason is, is because... Obviously, a lot is happening in the stock market. So we're going to recap that, and then we're going to start diving in and talking about everything that obviously has kind of been going on. And really, I mean, there's a ton. So, Eddie, I appreciate you, my friend. Thank you for swinging in. Hopefully, you get some information from this. Hopefully, you learn something. And uh, the goal is to come back next Friday. So today, guys, I, I it literally hurt my heart. It hurt extremely, extremely bad. Um, but I ended up selling 200 shares of Workhorse. I still currently have 820 shares. Um, I will not be going any lower than that right now. I do not have origami hands, and I did not sell everything that I own. Um, but I did sell 200 shares. That roughly, you know, netted me a little over seven thousand dollars. So some of the things I ended up purchasing myself was I bought Dragonfly. I bought 25 shares of more of Dragonfly. I bought Nano Dimensions, more of Nano Dimensions. I added 25 more shares. I added 50 more shares of Red Cat. Uh, I added 50 more shares of Sins. I added 500 shares of Tackoff, which is Drone Delivery Canada. I added 9,000 shares, which put, puts me at 30,000 shares. Guys, I'm going to repeat that one more time for you. That puts me at 30,000 shares of TSNP. And I bought 250 more Ag Eagle, which puts me at, which puts me at 3,250 of Ag Eagle. That hypes me up. If I had a train horn right now, I'd be hitting that thing left and right. Doop, doop. Uh, and then I bought 10 more shares of MP, and then I bought 10 more shares of CLII. That was what happened today, guys. So there's been a ton of additions throughout that entire time. 
obviously our account that we've been talking about as you guys can see there has been a ton of additions in that as well guys we are making moves and that's what you do on days like today so let's see what is going on in the chat what is going on in the chat obviously eddie is hanging out tonight eddie appreciate you swinging by checking this bad boy out duckster is a monster welcome welcome everybody darren coming all the way from london it's got to be some kind of early in the morning over there. I appreciate you, Darren, swinging in and checking out the live stream. As you guys can tell, I'm hyped. My son is trying to sleep upstairs, and I'm bringing it to you guys tonight. This is definitely going to be one of them live streams where we are on fire. We are going to be bringing it. That's right, sins. Nathan Solomon, brother, I, I appreciate you swinging in, man. Hey, I just want to be real with you, man. I was not giving you a hard time at all today on that. I completely understand your your position, your thoughts on EH. I really do. Um, I'm just trying to stay current with what is going on as of right now. I completely understand your take on that. Um, and there is zero, zero like hard feelings on that at all. And it's definitely going to be coming for sure. And I'll talk about the runs and everything that happened with EH for sure. So I appreciate it. The man, the myth, the legend has showed up. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to tell you, the celebrity, and he says he's not a celebrity. He is a celebrity. His name is Trading with CJ. Holy smokes, guys. He is in the house. Again, 3 a.m., pop it in. That is amazing. Darren, 3 a.m., you guys are true legends for staying up that late and coming and popping in the live streams. You guys are amazing. Yeah, Trading, yeah, CJ. I sold some workers and you know how like how gut wrenching that is. You know exactly how I feel about that. But man, when you got markets that are dropping the way they are, people are clowning and doing some crazy stuff with, you know, GameStop, AMC, you got to make moves because you're looking long term, you're looking bigger picture, and I'm adding and adding and adding on everything that everyone's selling and selling and selling. So, I'm gobbling up, guys. I'm gobbling them up. Yeah, that one hurt my heart, man. That definitely hurt. I uh, I never thought I would be getting rid of Workhorse before 75 at the minimum. 100 was my goal. But I, it was just way, way too, you know, it was way too good to do that today. You know, we hit $34. I should have probably did it the other day when it hit 40 but I'm like, uh, I didn't have any intention to do it. But then you have a bleeding red day the way we had it today. And, uh, you know, guys, I... I I had to do it. I had to do it. But since you guys are asking about Ag Eagle, well, we're going to about to dive into that. Exactly, CJ. Focus on what nobody else is focusing on. And you know, in all honesty, uh, I talk and I've been doing a podcast for with a um, a gentleman that I have the utmost respect for. Um, it's it's through Discord. His name's Miguel. And you know, we had a conversation tonight on the phone. And one of the biggest things is thinking about. All these young investors, a lot of them are pulling out of these key stocks that, you know, CJ's talking about, Nora's talking about, I'm talking about. They're pulling out of penny stocks, over-the-counter stocks. They're pulling out of things like Switchback Energy, Workhorse, Ag Eagle. The list goes on and on and on, right? So if you think about that, they're loading up on GameStop. They're loading up on AMC. They're loading up on Blockbuster. Good Lord, they're loading up on Blockbuster and all these other stocks. So they're pulling all their money out of these things. All the SPACs, they're pulling their money out, right? That leaves great opportunities for you and I. That leaves great opportunities. If you're investing in GameStop, if you're investing in those stocks that I listed, good for you. I have nothing against that. I think what, what is going on is sending a message. I have no problem with what is going on. I'm back here. I'm a long-term investor. I'm seeing a vision. I see exactly what my plan is. I know what I'm going to execute, and I'm going all in for it. And that is for these long-term stocks that will be there much longer than a GameStop, much longer than a massive run for AMC. So that's how I'm looking at it, guys. I, but I, I completely understand the moves. I truly, truly do. So there's no, no bad feelings towards anybody, and I think you guys are doing some amazing things. But I'm telling you, I'm the one that's picking up the scraps, and I'm going to be there when Ag Eagle comes back and is hitting $25, $30, and I added 250 shares, and then I'm going to have people be like, well, hey, Lucas, you know, is this a great time to add? And I'm going to be like, hey, you remember back when GameStop 
was a big deal and everyone was piling into GameStop and I'm the one that's loading up on Ag Eagle. I'm the one that's loading up on this. So that's my thinking, guys. I, I, I'm telling you guys, I'm fired up. I'm fired up. I've been looking forward to this live stream for at least since Tuesday. I look forward to it every time, but when stuff started to pop off, guys, I was like, we are live streaming Friday. It's going to be popping. This thing's going to be on fire. We're going to go. That's right, John SC. Let's go. Nathan, that's right. Let's go. It's not, a, I mean, rightfully so. There's some people that have made a ton of money off of that. And and I have nothing against the, the idea, the concept, people wanting to do that. And, you know, doing on the opposite of shorting. I completely understand. But my style of investing is long term. That's how I've always been. I've done, I've attempted to do some of the other things. And I've been successful in some of the other things. But I see a vision for myself. This is the style of investor I am. And I'm going all out. Sins long term was shorted and deserves to be supported. It's an amazing product. I agree. I agree 100%. Darren, can't believe TSMP is still around 35. Exactly. You know, the hype around TSMP was just at a full time max. People were just loading up. It was the excitement quarter, you know, the, the conference call was coming. And if you put any type of video out, it didn't matter if you spoke a word. If you put a TSN video, uh, TSNP video up, you were getting views. If you just slapped a thumbnail up, you were getting views, guys. That's how hot TSNP was. Then all of a sudden, it just falls off the face of the earth and nobody wants to touch it. Well, that's where I'm scooping up the shares because when it does become relevant, people want to dive in. They want to push this thing to a dollar. Hey, guess who's got 30,000 shares? Guys, I'm pumped. I am pumped. I appreciate every single person that is going to join this live stream. This is going to be hyped. If I could be playing music right now, I'd be I'd be pumping some music right now. Snack a frit. What is going on, my friend? I'm I'm loving all these new people joining up. This is amazing. True. How does it comes that no one is speaking about that Amazon said on their forum that they are partnering with Ag Eagle? Oh, oh, oh. Snacka, you can't be coming in here dropping the flames, my friend. You can't be doing that. You know how I, I mean, I don't know if you've been watching the videos, but you guys know how I feel about the old Ag Eagle, UAVS, huh? I mean, that's that's uh, that's my drone stock right there. Obviously, I'm, I'm the drone sector guy, but Ag Eagle's been my baby. Oh, you got me fired up. I'm going to have to check that out. We're going to have to check that out. Sins ever since XL is probably going to be approved. Yeah, that's going to be freaking amazing. That is going to be absolutely amazing. The UAVS e-commerce is literally under out of a nose. I mean, guys, I'm throwing I'm throwing all kinds of things at you. People are bringing that to my attention and, and it's just amazing. When people ask me if they should sell their drone stocks, I say, "Look into the sky. Do you see drones zipping around?" I don't either. That's how early we are in the industry. Haven't even cracked the surface have not even cracked the surface and they're working on it so hard right now because of the pandemic but this thing is definitely coming this thing is coming guys i've been talking to a lot of people that are in this sector very deep and they just keep reminding me that it is coming uh cj so i'll tell you um i was at two hundred two dollars and fifty six cents when i had three thousand shares i was at two dollars and fifty six cents I did make a purchase today. Um, I got it. I got it at like two or uh, nine dollars and eighty some cents, um, and so it did raise my average uh, to three dollars and fourteen cents. So I currently have three thousand two hundred and fifty shares, and it is at three dollars and fourteen cents. I don't know if that'll focus. Um, it's the top one right there. Uh oh, it is right there. So as you can see, $3.14, 3,250, and it is valued at $31,752.50. I'm up $21,551 at 211%. That's what I'm working with right there. We can sense the future of UAVS just like how people sense the future Apple when they dropped the first iPhone. I'm telling you guys, 
I'm telling you, it, it's the thing is, is drones can be used for so much, and and I can't hit hit on that and emphasize on that enough in every open that I do on drone stocks, guys. If you can think of something a drone can do, there's people, at least ten people, that are thinking about that that are in the industry, and they're getting things accomplished. They truly are getting things accomplished when it comes to that. I mean, I'm telling you guys, I'm telling you guys, this is a sector that is just going to be roaring. And one of the biggest things we have to remember is Ag Eagle is out in the forefront. They have the major e-commerce. They have Valkyrie, who literally has, it seems like, every patent imaginable on the deli on the box. I call it a mailbox sometimes. That's not always what it actually is. It, the best term is receptacle. But they absolutely are going out getting tons of partnerships themselves. Ag Eagle just literally went out, guys, and got almost the best sensor slash camera system that was out on available in the market. And they just went out and acquired that and put it into them system or their system. This is amazing. Each camera is roughly nine thousand to ten thousand dollars. So if a massive order comes in and they all want to be fitted with these cameras, that's a ten thousand extra dollar camera that is going out on every one of them drones. Guys, I'm telling you what, I'm telling you what, this sector is going to be something amazing. And I, I just, I'm fired up. You guys call me the Drone King. I love it. I'm creating a shirt with the Drone King stuff on it. It's going to be hype, guys. Just wait till UAVS starts doing stock splits because the share price is too high. That'd be straight flames, man. Especially with uh, having 3,250. Holy smokes. Snack of frit. Question. Are you guys partnering with Ag Eagle? Answer. Yes. That's phenomenal. That is phenomenal. I do think that it's on the cusp of coming out. I truly, truly do. I think it's on the cusp of coming out. The, you know, the vice president of operations, Matt Martin, just had a podcast interview. Um... And obviously in the, in the entire discussion, he says he can't reveal a whole lot because of the non-disclosure agreement, but he says some stuff is coming. And I think when people say that, they don't mean, you know, two years from now. When they say some stuff's coming, I think they mean in the, in the near term. Thoughts on Tattoo Chef. Duckster, the guy that absolutely loves Tattoo Chef is literally in this, uh, in this group chat right now, and his name is Trading with CJ. Phenomenal, phenomenal. And it absolutely is a big time tattooed chef guy for sure. Is Amazon part? <laughs> I saw that. My du uh, my dude is goaded. Crazy gains. Can't argue with that. Gonna shoot, bro. All right. Hey, CJ, I appreciate you, my friend. Thank you for swinging by. I really do appreciate this. One of these times, I'm going to start a lot earlier. That way, uh, you guys can get the full entire package of what this entire thing is. For sure. Parrot. Yep. Yeah, Parrot's the Parrot was the top guy. Yeah, Eddie, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I could keep going on and on and on. Guys, the thing is, too, when you think about Ag Eagle, they had, they had about $31 million on hand. They only really roughly spent $15 million in cash on hands. The rest is going to be distributed out in stocks. So really, they still have a decent amount of cash on hand. So it's going to be phenomenal. Mr. Johnson, what what uh what did Miguel say first? Seventy five different countries. Yeah, it's gonna be beastly for sure. Oh, sweet, free speech. That's awesome. I like that. Am I saying it right, Snacka? Oh, thank you for coming in with the five dollars. Is it Devonte Johnson? Holy smokes, man! I appreciate you so much, my friend. I appreciate it so much. If you're coming over from Miguel, man, we are. I, I talk to I talk to him all the time, all the time. He's literally he's an amazing dude, man. He he knows his stuff, and I feel like when I'm talking to him, I'm gaining more knowledge every single time. Absolutely love it. Went to my local Costco and was searching for tattooed chef products not available at my Costco yet. Dang, Duckster. They use the use that cash for fire. <laughs> yes, I'm saying it right. The Drone King. That's that. I'm right here, baby. The Drone King. Devante, I man, I appreciate you. I really do. 
I appreciate it so much. Five bucks goes a long ways. It really does. There's Samuel. What is going on, my friend? What is going on, my friend? Hey, I was actually going to tell you um, because I saw your message today and I didn't get a chance to respond to that specific one. Um, But I am actually involved with the EXPC, as you can see right there, Samuel. So I'm in EXPC. Um, I don't have a ton of shares. I think I have 10 shares, but we're rolling with it. We are rolling with it. Nano Dimensions is in there as well. Duckster, we, we are doing some big things. Devonta, again, I appreciate you, my friend. Five bucks, thank you. That means a ton. We're rolling, guys. This live stream is straight popping off. I didn't bring any water. I know I'm going to need some water because when I get hyped like this and I start bringing it on videos, I start looking around and I'm like, my voice is going to start going. Oh, man. Everybody's starting to come into the live stream. This is what I like to see. This is what I like to see. So, CJ, the reason why their names are in green is because I had decided to start a the membership option on YouTube. So, um, I went into like when I got monetized and I waited a little bit and decided that um, instead of doing a Discord right away, I was going to attempt to do the memberships. And so what the the individuals who have green next to their name, basically what they're doing is they're paying $5.99 every month. And what they're getting at the time, they were getting private live streams. Um, but they a lot of them recommended, they said that this is a lot more fun because a lot more people participate and that's the case. Um, but then they get a, a watch list that I've been sending out. Um, unfortunately, I haven't been sending it in video form. Um, but they're gonna they they start getting some other things like behind the scenes um, trading some of the things that I've been doing in an account and stuff like that. So they've been paying five dollars and ninety nine cents for that, and that's why their their names are green. Um, and that's why Nora's is starting to change because she's going on two months, I believe. So that's what's going on with that. Oh no, what happened to the clicker? There we go. Got to get caught up. Got to get caught up. No wonder why people start losing stuff. How's that Discord coming along? Duxter, so it's basically created. Um, I just got to start plugging in some of the stuff. Like I want to get the rules section created. I want to get some of the, the main like intro pieces out of the way. Um, but it's definitely, definitely coming, no no doubt. Um, I want to get a Discord going because I want to be able to talk and engage with everyone um, throughout the day and really talk to you guys on what moves I'm making because clearly, guys, I'm making moves. Like as you can see right there, moves are happening. So that's kind of what I want to do for sure. Tim said he'd be running late, Duxter. John SC, what's about what uh, what input in all the upcoming EV companies and those that are already existing? Also, current manufacturing companies are starting to bring out different models to challenge Tesla. Uh, do you think Tesla will have some trouble in the next two to three years once the manufacturing companies start getting more popularity with EVs? It all depends, man. I think that obviously you're going to start to see some EVs just not become relevant. Some of them are, are still years and years away from production. And so I think some of them are going to start to struggle. I do think at some point you might start to see some mergers happen and then you're really going to start seeing some competition. I don't know if you you saw recently, but GM announced that they're eventually going to be going fully electric. Um, those are the types of things that I think are going to put some competition in these upcoming SPAC slash EVs that are trying to, to compete. Um, I can honestly talk about this for days. Um, I'm a big time EV guy as well. I love Workhorse. I love Lordstown. I love a ton of these, you know, upcoming ones. But in always, in my in my opinion, I think Tesla is always going to be the monster right there. I, I do like Neo. Um, I've always talked about Neo as well. But when it comes to just overall, um, I'm a huge Tesla person. I think that the future is more than vehicles with them. And so when you start talking about Tesla stock, you're talking about more than just the vehicle. Um, and if anybody knows this channel, they know that I love Chamath as well. And Chamath came on to CNBC the other day and was really just talking about how impactful Elon is going to be and how Tesla is just going to be very impactful in the future outside of the car. So that's going to be massive. And that's how I feel about that. I could go on for days. I really could. I'm trying to keep up, guys. I'm trying to keep up. Uh, not selling. Te er, here we go. Here we go. Lucas, keep it up, bud. Love it. UABS. Let's go, David. I appreciate it, my friend. Thank you, sir. Not selling Tesla ever. Me neither. I got 10 shares and I'm holding strong. 
if I ever get the opportunity, which it looks like it's happening, guys. Tesla has been dipping because of this crazy thing that's going on. Um, so it could be a good entry point for some people. You got to remember, you know, $700, $800, $900 seems terrible now. What happens when it's running and it's at $1,800? $1, so something to always think about. Tesla's a monster. I picked up some other stocks I was interested, saw them in low. Yeah, that's Samuel, good stuff. Haven't bought ACTC, only having them on my radar. Uh, we get an OnlyFans access. Yes, you do. <laughs> I'm buying more UAVS on Monday. Hopefully that thing, uh, you know, depending on what, what happens, I still think it's a, any, you know, we're at a good price point for them for sure. Want to know something funny? According to Money, CNN, Ag Eagle is worth 453 US. So that's the thing, Snack of Frit. Um, there is one analyst out there that has been covering this and it's he hasn't budged, has not moved. Um, and the more and more I'm diving in, and the more and more I'm really doing research, um, I mean, I mean, it. if this Amazon thing comes out and they have, you know, let's just say two to three more hemp deals that come out and some numbers start coming out, I, I mean, I mean, that's Amazon. That is Amazon. And then there's always, always in the back of your mind, remember Matt Martin, 20 plus years at Boeing, has ties to the Air Force, has ties to the Navy. Could there potentially be something that is involved with, you know, the, the military aspect? So I think that there's a lot, guys. I think there's a lot. Let's keep this train rolling. I'm trying to keep up, guys. Uh, the one analyst offering 12-month price forecast of Aggie Lawyer Systems has the median target of 453.75. I think that's phenomenal. Um, I don't think that that's going to get there unless the announcement is made. But I, I was foreseeing and forecasting $25.00 until all this uh, craziness started happening with the stock market. Yeah, we got we got Lucas's OnlyFans. <laughs> and they also get the opportunity to, to spread the gnat. Uh, <laughs> that's awesome. There's Tim. What is going on, Tim? Tim's, Tim's in the chat, everyone. Yep, he's the origami guy. He's the origami slayer. That's another shirt that is going to be made, guys, is, uh, is an don't fold like origami. And basically what they're saying, everyone comes out and says diamond hands. We're changing it up. We're saying no origami hands. CCIV is my highest investment right now. Uh, so I have some different thoughts on CCIV. I'm not the biggest CCIV fan because technically, do we really know? I, I haven't been paying too much attention, but do we really even know if that's going to be lucid? Um, and I just, for the amount that it cost to buy that vehicle i'm just i'm not sure what's going to happen with that so that's one that i'm kind of like eh. you know i i don't really see anything wrong with people investing it but i'm not doing it personally myself um but that's just my thoughts on that what uh what do you guys what do you guys what holding heavy what about you guys what you holding heavy uh, uh oh uh oh uh, hit that like button, CJ, smash that like button, guys, let's go, smash that like, anybody that's new, smash that subscribe button, we're trying to get to 3,000, we gotta catch the celebrity in the chat, and his name is CJ, he's a monster, he's already hitting 3,000, he's killing it, guys, phenomenal channel as well, if you guys are new to the to this live stream, CJ has an amazing channel, Nora has an amazing channel, guys, there are a ton of people who really have an awesome, awesome, you know, setup for YouTube. They're doing amazing things. I can't give enough people credit, guys. You know, that's one of the biggest things I always told myself I'd do is give credit to people and share the share the wealth with everyone. So any opportunity I get, guys, I'm sharing people's YouTubes and doing everything like that. It's bigger than me, guys. This is bigger than me, and that's why I started it. Tesla is 44% my portfolio. Duckster coming in with the 44% portfolio smash. That's what's up. Nathan Solomon, renewable energy side of Tesla is as big as bigger than auto side. I agree. It could potentially be bigger. I think I think Elon has some major plans, guys. I really do. Workhorse, yeah, hurts my heart. I do think a lot's coming down the pipeline. I think they've been putting some sneak peeks out on social media. I don't think that they just unveiled a C1000 with a sliding roof for no no reason. I think that that's now going to be an opportunity to buy with that feature and the drone may potentially be coming with it. I was originally thinking that that was going to be their way of telling us that they passed the FAA's 135 strenuous test. We'll just have to wait and see. Uh, but I'm excited about Workhorse too. Uh, Lucas, you check what I sent you about AMC. I haven't yet, Tim. Uh, I'll have to... Oh, 
Yes, I actually did. Um, I got to dive in a little more. I'm going to dissect it, but I read it over quickly, and I want to go back and read it again. I think that's absolutely some crazy, crazy news. Um, one of the guys at work was actually talking about that too. David, Dragonfly for sure, guys. Uh, I, I can't remember who asked the question in, in the in the uh, one of my comments sections, but they said, if you had to pick, would you pick Dragonfly or would you pick UABS? And that is the toughest question I think I've ever gotten. Um, toughest question, guys, because they both have extremely bright futures. Um, if I had to pick, like had to had to pick, I'd pick Ag Eagle right now just because we don't know who that e-commerce is. But Dragonfly is doing some absolutely, absolutely phenomenal things too. And they're starting to dabble outside of the drones by themselves. They have a partnership with Nightscope um, and they're working on a robotic type thing device that is uh, doing some things for the pandemic. It's absolutely phenomenal. So Dragonfly is a monster as well. Plus they have a killer CEO just doing some amazing things. They're getting ready to go to the NASDAQ. So Dragonfly for sure is doing some, doing some amazing things. Uh, Lucas trying to keep up with the chat. You're going to need a five hour energy. Yeah. I'm going to have to go smash one for sure. I don't even know if I, I might have to go get a cold one from the fridge, crack open a Coors. Oh wait, I got bush light out there. I want to be at hundred K by the end of the year. Great goal, Samuel. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Good entry point with square. Um, that's a hard one. I'll have to definitely double check. I'll have to definitely double check for you. Duckster and I'll get back to you on square remind me too if you ask ask again if I forget anyone investing in Lordstown this guy Lordstown is going to be a beast camping world partnership going to be doing they're spread out across the United States got I mean it's going to be a, absolutely amazing class three um, you know campers come in plus all the orders pre-orders that are coming they're about to start the manufacturing process going to be freaking amazing appreciate you swinging in lickety split Roberts Snack of Frida, I bought UAVS, my investing team from Sweden last year at two US dollars when no one believed in them, but I know the drones are the future, so everything you buy now is a steal. Exactly, my friend, exactly. Don't have any CCIV, I don't either. Perishing Square, Tontine Holdings, kick that thing to the curb. I don't know what else he's got left. I mean, everybody's either telling him no or he's swinging and missing, so went ahead and dumped that. Um, that's just me. But yeah, I got kicked the can on that one. Um, and I used that to, to dive in a bunch of stuff that's on sale. Definitely did that. Bro, can you look into XBC on live? I'm hearing it's e-hang of for the US. Uh, I think so, it is. I'll, I'll definitely, once it cools down and I get caught up, um, I'll definitely dive into that for sure, Samuel. Um, uh, let's see, let's see. Lickety split. You bought 5,000 of Lordstown. That's what's up. That is what's up, my friend. Nora CJ. Yeah, he's a celebrity. I'm telling you guys, CJ's the man. Yeah, I, I absolutely, absolutely enjoy CJ. Good dude. Puts out amazing videos for sure. Darren, are you in on any pharma stock, Lucas? Um, Any specific ones? Because I, I, when I was going through today, um, I think I had 45 shares in my retirement. And I currently have, or well, I'll be able to tell you. So I have 47 share uh, stock, individual stocks in my retirement, and in my like messing around account, I have 20. So if you have a specific one, I might be able to tell you. Duxter, wow, nice holding Tesla long, good. Yep, he is. John Sc, do you know any of the biotech companies in the agriculture sector, or food industry that are focused on increasing productivity? For example, for water, we have HTO Innovation. Um, you know, I really haven't dove into too much of the biotech really in that area. Um, that's kind of something I think with our new president and vice president to, to think green and clean energy, things like that, that might actually be a way to look. So definitely something I might start getting into. Anyone here in Doge? Is it Doge, dog? The Doji coin. I wish I was. I wish I was. I do not have a Robinhood account. And, and um, because I use TD Ameritrade and I use Charles Schwab. I know a ton of people use Fidelity. A lot of people use Webull. There's all kinds of other options out there. Unfortunately, I do not have a Robinhood account. Lickety split Roberts. ACT, ACTC looking good for all the EV buses Biden wants. Exactly. Exactly. And major, major ties. Uh, that one is also backed by Chamath, who also has Wonder Woman, as Miguel would say. Wonder Woman in uh, Audrey Lee. Absolute phenomenal. I'm a big ACTC fan. Um, no doubt. Tim, hold Duckster. Don't force me to take your hands. 
Uh, don't make him. Uh, don't make him fold. He'll he'll throw some origami at you. Samuel snacks look really YRLF. Hey, guess what, Samuel? I've invested into YRLF. YRLF. Uh, I haven't done anything with ASDN yet. Literally, Splick Roberts is ride a buy. I can't honestly tell you if it's a buy or sell um, because I'm not a financial advisor. But I can tell you right now that I'm not currently buying ride. Um, I'm going to wait to see. But we are hitting some crazy good runs with Workhorse and with Lordstown right now. Um, and I think because of Joe Biden and I think some other things are starting to come down the pipeline in, in that sector that you're going to start to see some really big time monsters uh, you know, like Lordstown, like Workhorse, like some of the others really start to, to get in gear for sure. Um, CJ, how many stocks are in your portfolio overall? So in my retirement and the one that I trade out of the most, um, as of today, I have 47. And this is every single one that I have in there. IPOE, ABML, Workhorse, CleanSpark, VGA, TQ, Accent Solar, McDonald's, Pfizer, Santo Mining, uh, Glow, UAV Tech, which is the one that Samuel just talked about, CLII, Climate Change, Quantum Computing, Lordstown Motors, Clover, Merck, JP Morgan, Verizon, INSU, Procter Gamble, Red Cat Holdings, Coca Cola, Raytheon, Walmart, Walt Disney, Romeo Power, Visa, Home Depot, ConocoPhillips, Fisker, Sensionics, Microsoft, FedEx, Drone which is tack off drone delivery canada mp materials switchback energy apple nano dimensions desktop metal tesla artificial intelligence strike force alpine fort tech stable road acquisitions dragonfly ag eagle tesoro enterprises tsnp and new america those are the 47 i do have another account that has relatively the same stuff in it uh nicholas how man or, hey man Keep up the good work. You're doing what watch your videos on Ag Eagle and TSMP. Nicholas, I appreciate you swinging in here, my friend. And it means a ton. It really, truly does. I appreciate everyone with the support. Um, hopefully, we can keep growing this channel. Let's get this thing as big as we possibly can so more people can see what we're trying to do um, and really get this out there. It, it means a ton. I absolutely love you know doing things like this. I love the engagement. I love interacting with you guys. And it's it's a ton of fun, No no question. So I appreciate the support. Luke is going to hit 10K by April. That would be freaking sweet. That would be freaking sweet. But that would mean that CJ would be at 11. <laughs> and Nora is going to be at about 5. Snack of Frida. Samuel, I will check them out. Yeah, good stuff. Darren, VXRT and SRNE. Uh, SRNE, I think, VXRT, I think I have that on my watch list. Uh, SRNE, I'll have to double check. Let's, SRNE, oh, Sorrento, yep. Yep, Sorrento, for sure. Sorrento Therapeutics. I don't think I have them. I think, uh, I do think Vaxar is in my, um, my watch list. I do think Vaxart is in my watch list for sure, but I, I'm not invested in either one of those. Holy smokes, trying to catch up. I'm getting uh, I'm getting right on Monday. I think is the lowest it'll go. Nothing but upside for it. No question. I think there's a huge upside for it. A lot of lot for the future. You don't need to check out Sins. Yes, Sins is a beast. Any stocks we should check out? I think there a lot of people are gonna, gonna be recommending Duxter. Get your notepad out. I'm heavy in Doge. I. I wish I could be. I think that thing, I, I it's doing amazing things. I started uh, the crypto game myself on uh, Coinbase, and it's been a lot of fun. I actually do origami as a hobby, Tim. <laughs> That's awesome. GS Tech. So there he is. What's going on, GS Tech? What's up, bro? Appreciate you swinging in. I'll check out uh, Snack -a Shaka. Thanks. Awesome. Hopefully YRLLF will make some good money soon. I, you know, I started diving in. I've actually planned on doing a video on them and then, uh, Ag Eagle dropped that massive acquisition and I had to put it off. Um, I actually have a video that I was going to put out for, I, I'm getting ready to design and do one for eHang as well. That's been a act, you know, a requested stock for sure. Um, so I got to get that one out as well. Sins is a monster. It will explode in the summer. I hope so. It, ha it definitely is going to be doing a great service for people. That's a big th reason why I invested in it. 
Holy smokes, you guys are killing it tonight. As long as you're only folding cranes and not folding positions. Yep, I know a guy that folded his complete position. It sold out. That's why the whole phrase and term came about. Been adding sins three days in a row. That's awesome, Duckster. Samuel, I have around 18 stocks in my portfolio for now. Uh, I'm sure it will grow. Teasing heavy on some socks. I really like it. <laughs> John SC, Sor Soros Fund owns a lot of sins. I actually started uh, researching on the guy and he's brilliant. Awesome to hear, John. Awesome to hear. Nathan, when did you start investing? I started taking this seriously um, back in 2019. Um, I've been actively doing this for exactly um, a little over two years now. And... Um, uh, let's see. So I've been actively trading for two years and here is exactly what I'm working with. Oh, of course. So I don't know if that'll focus or not. So for uh, since I started, I'm up 758.44%, up $99,741. GS Tech coming in with the 99 cents, bro. I appreciate it so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Really, guys, it means a ton. And every time you guys donate, um, it's going, it's, you know, I'm looking at some new equipment um, and I'm, I'm building up basically my first thing is I promised the first thousand dollars that I made from my YouTube channel, I would be donating a portion of that, um, and, and giving it back to a charity. So the, every time you guys, you know, give me any type of money at all, you're helping towards that cause. And I'm going to be giving it back to some type of charity, um, because that's, that's who I am. That's what I believe in. And so that's what I'm going to be doing consistently every time, you know, at least, every other or however I determine and deem it. Um, you know, that's a big part of who I am is giving to charity. So uh, a lot of this stuff will be going to that. Thanks. Come by the channel and show some love. Yeah. Norma, Nora has a beast of a channel guys. She covers stocks. Absolutely phenomenal. And her intro is by far the best out of anybody's out of anybody's PLG. We'll have to take a look. Duckster. Gonna have to take a look. Cowork mentioned Vaxart. Yeah, um, I was in Vaxart a really, really, really long time ago when I first started kind of just screwing around with uh, penny stocks and like day trading, and I got in and made some money. Um, but since then, it's um, I, I really haven't got back to it. I appreciate GS Tech. GS Tech, I really do. Tim, the great financial friend. <laughs> My, my parents have to prick their fingers every morning and night. Yeah, Duckster, I, I'm, I'm glad you're in it for that reason. That That's a big piece. How many shares of sins did you pick up? Uh, I picked up 50 today. I'll have to double check and see how much uh, see him, how much that totals me at. I think it totaled me at uh, right at 100 possibly. How many shares? I'm your financial friend, Nora. <laughs> Jeff, what's up? Saw your video and brought 1,000 shares. Thanks, big bro. Jeff, I appreciate you, my friend. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That parabolic portfolio, Lucas. Yes, yes, Nora. I've been doing. I've been working. I've been grinding. I've been doing a lot, guys. I've been doing a lot. Look what I sent you, Lucas. I'll have to take a check. I'm trying or take a look, Ducks. I'm trying to keep up. Trying to keep up. Flea Gang. GS Tech coming in with the four dollars and ninety nine cents. I really love TSMP. Can you reassure me? I need a mental support, bro. TSNP is going to the moon. Actually, wait. No, we're gonna go ahead and go past the moon. And I think we might take a look, maybe stop in, see what's going on in Mars, maybe drop off Elon, and then we're going to continue on, guys. TSNP is going to be a monster. They're going into 40 countries in February. They're already talking about what countries they're going to be releasing in. They're already putting out all kinds of information. The Backstreet Boys are backing this thing. You got Soldier Boy coming out and talking about how pumped he is about TSNP. And then we're slapping t-shirts on Twitter on, e on Elon Musk wear a TSMP shirt. If TSMP doesn't fire you guys up and then just the, the fact that they have Brian foot as their leader and he is just a blockchain wizard and oh my goodness guys, TSNP. If that didn't fire you up, let's go my friend. Let's go. Tim coming in with the fleas. Lucas, we need you to get some led lighting effects. That'd be pretty dope. I'm not gonna lie. That'd be pretty sweet. 
it might turn into all kinds of dance parties up in here, but I can't play any music because then I get copyrighted. Do you ever buy on margin? No, Nathan. You know, I originally, when I very first started, I, um, I set up my account that way and then I realized what it insisted or it consisted of and I decided to go back to a cash account. Um, it's not that I don't think there's anything wrong with, you know, doing stocks on margin. It's just not my style. GS Tech, I'm up 220,000 and I'm doing charity when it's and when it's time and good willing. Exactly, GS. That's what it's about, my friend. It's what it's about. Any other good stocks I should write down and check out? Um, we'll keep them going, Duxter. We'll keep them going. I'll I'll plug some plug some here in a little bit. Lucas, my financial nurse. Heck yeah. Nora coming in with the two dollars. What's up? I uh, thank you, Nora. It means a ton. It means a ton. So I ha in Kansas City we have um, it's called the KC Pet Project um, and they do a lot of things for animals. That's one that I'm looking at. Um, my son early on was very um, involved with the hospital just because of some some illnesses that he was going through. Um, and we have a Ronald McDonald House that helps out families and children that are going through some hard times. Um, and you know they supply food and they do all kinds of things like that. So I'm looking at that. Um, to do something for them. I'm really kind of doing some research and seeing how they accept donations and things like that as well. So uh, once I get to a certain point, I'm definitely, definitely going to dive into that. Mr. Drone Expert, what's your opinion on the Drone Delivery Canada Corporation? Snack of Frida, I bought uh, an additional 500 today. That put me at 1,000 shares. Um, I do think that it's going to provide a great service. It's definitely a different type. I like their business model. Um, I definitely like what they're bringing. I just want to see more and more. I know they're signing a ton of letter intents, and I think that they have a great direction. I think we just need a little bit more PR and a little bit more attention to them. Um, and obviously, it's not able to be traded on the likes of a work or a Robinhood. It's not able to be traded on the likes of a, you know, a Weeble. So once maybe some other people get involved in other avenues, it might start to pick up. But I really, really think it's going to be special. I think it's one of those ones that is going to have definitely an impact. Doge, buy and hold. That's incredible. I was trying to pick up some Doge today, but Rotten Hood never allowed. Sounds like the norm. I'm in Doge right now. So far, I'm still holding. Duxter went live last night on it. It was pretty freaking sweet. Uh, WWM hat would happen if Robin Hood went bankrupt. We would lose our money. Um, I, I'm, I'm not sure. That's a great question. I'm pretty sure that's probably what would happen. Nora coming in with another dollar ninety nine. What is going on? That's absolutely amazing, Nora. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Is that Ag Eagle a good buy at nine dollars? Shane, um, I bought an additional two hundred and fifty shares today. And it was at nine dollars and some nine dollars and eighty cents, nine dollars and almost ninety cents maybe. Uh, I added an extra two dollars, two hundred and fifty shares. So if that tells you anything, hold through the weekend, Duxter. Not origami hands, Tim. <laughs> Nora with another dollar forty nine. Oh my, Nora, thank you so much. Thank you so much. One of the true OGs of this channel. She's rocking the shirt. She's an OG for sure. Appreciate it. GS Tech, thank you, Duxter. Considering that I started 20,000, 20, God is good. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Snack of Frida, Shane Russian. Is it a steal, not a deal? $9 USD. Steal. Norwise, ha, ha, I'm having fun with the stickers. That is pretty sweet. Saw the dogs. Saw the dogs. That's freaking awesome. Wow, GS, that's freaking amazing. Keep doing what you keep doing what you're doing next thing you know you're gonna be a retired millionaire that's the plan guys that is the plan ducks you're coming in with the fleas darren coming in with the 299 thank you my friend thank you did i catch up to the bottom of the chat whoo whoo darren i appreciate you my friend it means a ton guys it means a ton it truly truly does you guys are doing more than you know like in all in seriousness you are as for the Dogecoin, <laughs> I wish, I wish. The thing is, guys, I was thinking about that. Even if I had the opportunity to open a Robinhood account, think how long it would probably take now for me to open a Robinhood account, fund it, and then by the time I get involved with anything, it's going to be irrelevant. It's going to be irrelevant. 
<laughs> so guys, I'm going to kind of go over, uh, since I've caught back up to the bottom of the chat and I've caught my breath, uh, I'm going to go over some things that I, I 100% add in. Um, and so I, I'm really excited about some of these things. So ABML guys, uh, that was one that was also recommended by, uh, Miguel who I've, I've been doing a podcast with through his private discord. Uh, absolutely amazing information on ABML. I did a video on it. I plan on doing another one. It's going to be absolutely amazing. Um, let's see, C I C L I I another one that was recommended by him, uh, climate, climate change. It is holy smokes, guys. Holy smokes. Kathy is going to do some amazing things with that. Um, she, holy, she's got uh, absolute ties to, to all kinds of administration. She's currently tied to Biden. Um, and she's going to be leading that thing. So I, I'm excited about climate change. They're going to be involved with the EV go. And that's actually what our company is. It's going to be fast charging chargers. It's going to be massive guys going to be massive. GS Tech, that is the plan. Plan to give back. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's the plan. John SC, for those curious about SENS, SENS is gonna be a, gonna be awesome. Hopefully, we get that 360 day one day or one time a week calibration. Uh, it's gonna do amazing things during what 70 countries with Ascensia, and hopefully that partnership can stick. All kinds of things, guys. I think it's gonna be special for the people who have diabetes. And it's going to do some amazing things. I, I have some relatives that have diabetes and I see what they go through. And hopefully that this helps them in that way for sure. There he is. There he is. What is going on, Randy? What is going on? Workhorse, 14% of my portfolio. That's Duxter. You're, you're doing big things, my friend. Especially for your age. You're doing amazing, amazing things. IDEX, I got IDEX. I think it's going to be doing some things. Some people feel that it's not. Uh, you know, there's a lot of people that are against IDEX. Um, it's not a massive, massive position in my portfolio, um, but I do have IDEX. Randy is an OG as well. He was here from the beginning. He's a true OG, rocking the shirt, rocking the shirt. I appreciate it, Randy. I appreciate you swinging in, my friend. The Drone King. I support any EV stock, won't invest in all of them, but love them. Yo. INSG, I'm telling you. I, you're in Seago, Duxter. You've been all about the Insego, man. I, I enjoy the, the stories you put on your Instagram for sure. Tim, AMC is going to go to the moon next week. So if it's, a, if it's accurate to what you're posted and what you sent, I mean... Man, man, I'll be able to drive 15 minutes down the road and we'll be throwing a party with uh, at the headquarters of AMC. I'm telling you what, those guys are going to be rocking. I bet fireworks are going to be going off, all kinds of stuff because they're going to be excited. ALPP, Workhorse, Nano Dimensions, UAVS, saving my portfolio. I love to hear it, Randy. Love to hear it. You know, that's what's crazy, guys. I do think Nokia wasn't actually out of the game. If I remember and recall correctly... I do believe they were actually working on some networking stuff for like 5G. I, I know that they, you know, basically gave up the phone aspect if I'm if I recall, but I do think they were still working on some some networking stuff. So I don't think they were completely out of the game like a you know a GameStop who basically was, you know, getting to the very very end if I believe right. They're thinking about hopping into GM. You know, that's something to consider. That's something to consider, especially with them going, you know, announcing that they're going to be eventually going fully EV. And GM actually has their hand in a lot of behind the scenes electrical vehicle parts and companies that deal with that. So GM may not necessarily be a bad, bad play. Um, if that's something you're truly, truly interested in, Duxter. If that is something you're truly interested in. Let's see, I'm going to catch up. Let's see, what did you send me? Nora coming in with the messages. Tim sending me running late. Be there ASAP. Gotcha. You're in here now. Is it, are those bugs? Oh, those are your orca. <laughs> That's awesome. You got to send that to Tim. 
you gotta send that to Tim. That's freaking hilarious. That, those are really cool. I'm not, uh, but it's just funny that Tim did the origami hands. A rat and a spider. That's freaking dope, Duxter. That's awesome. Oh man, oh man, getting caught up, guys. Getting caught up. Do you have any lithium battery materials play? Yeah, I do. Um, I appreciate you swinging in. I really do. I, I thank you for coming in. Um, I am in MP Materials. Uh, I did get into, uh, where's it at? Where's it at? Oh. The thing is, guys, when you have 47 stocks and then everything's red, you got to find it because it's not alphabetical. Uh, I do have MP materials. Let me see. Current watch list. American lithium. I do think I added them in my other portfolio. Um, so I do definitely, definitely have some, uh, definitely have some in the portfolio for sure. There was another one that I got in that I was like beyond excited about besides MP. Uh, I'll have to find it, but I think I'm in a couple. I know American lithium and, oh, ABML, ABML is the other one. ABML is the other one. Randy, yeah, they're going to be huge with 5G. Just no 5G catalyst yet because it's so early 2021. 5G will be a sleeper. I agree, Randy. I agree. I agree. No question. Same for BlackBerry. They were getting an autonomous driving algorithms. That's what I heard. I knew that they weren't like out of it completely, guys. Like I knew some of these companies were still doing stuff even though their stocks really weren't like super relevant. So you think Robinhood... We'll have a class class action lawsuit. Supposedly, they got a lawsuit filed against them yesterday. Um, I don't know how real or true the picture was, but it looked like they had gotten one against them yesterday. Um, but yeah, it'll be very interesting to see how that plays out uh, and everything like that for sure. ABML too. Oh yeah, I, I'm telling you, ABML is going to be a monster. Recycled batteries, guys, especially with uh, potentially a shortage of lithium. Randy, have you guys been reading up on HCMCI? I have not, Randy. I'll have to look into that. I think somebody somebody in here, somebody has been hitting on HCM, or not I, HCMC, excuse me. Somebody has been hitting on that. I can't remember who it was. Got out of CBAT a while ago. Yeah, I did too. I did too, Duckster. Tim, uh, we need to get Duckster girlfriend OG fam. <laughs> uh, GS Tech, I'm big invested in ABML. What an what an opportunity. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Any ch any chance I get, I I got in at a really good price the other day, and it was so hard for me to like kind of mess up that average. But I went ahead and did it today on the on a dip. Actually, I don't think it dipped. No, it didn't. It, I did added it the other day where I was like, man, I don't want to mess up the average, but I went ahead and did it. John SC, I have gotten into ABML, uh, but you guys sparked my interest. I will buy this week. John, definitely do your research, do your due diligence, and, and make sure you're checking out the, you know, like for example, obviously you can see right here, this is my entire portfolio, and you can see how much red there was. This entire thing was red. I was down like 3.5% today, and literally the one of the ones, that number two coming in that was actually up 18.25% or 18 today was ABML. So make sure you're, you know, checking out the charts, doing your research, do your due, due, due diligence and check out to make sure you're getting at a good price. You buy every dip, that's freaking awesome, GS. That's definitely awesome. Definitely awesome. Suing Philip Morris on patent infringement and looks like they're going to win and so Philip Morris will eat. Yeah, so I, I heard about that. Oh, that's what it is. So there's a guy at work, one of uh, a, basically I consider him my mentor. And I, I, you know, when I first got hired on, he's the one that gave me the entire spiel on retirement 401k. He actually, I think he, I believe he got a million shares, Randy. I think he got a million shares, and uh, they're they're into vaping and other things like that. Yeah, he was telling me about. That's exactly where it was from. Um, I don't know if you guys remember him. He came in a while back. His name's Buddy. Um, yeah, he's getting it. He got in a million shares of that. Um, and was telling me about that the other day. Yeah, he, he said that there's a good chance that they're going to pull that one out and it's going to be like 
a ton of money, like a ton of money. And it's actually for like a patent as well. Tim, he will be right back. I'll be back. What about 3D stocks? I'm looking to jump back into desktop metal. I do. I really like desktop metal. Nano Dimensions, obviously, is going to be a little bit of 3D play. Um, but yeah, desktop metal for sure. Uh, I have them in the portfolio. I haven't moved them at all. Uh, been been keeping them and always looking to add desktop metal. UAVS hit a lot of sectors. Company has literally diversified itself for sure. Dexter, we must have scared off Eddie. GS Tech, what do you think about MIT? Is that MITI? Uh, let's take a look. Dexter, you're getting all your stocks right here. MITI, uh, my Tesco, True Nature Holdings, uh, uh, fun focused on acquisition, compounding pharmacy companies, focused on developing portfolio companies that provide healthcare tech. Interesting. And it's like right at 44, 42 cents. Interesting. And it's an IT software company. Ooh. Coming in out of Denver, Colorado. Good clinic set to break ground in Minneapolis. <coughs> Very interesting. Let's go ahead and add that to the watch list. Add that to the old watch list. Bam. Thanks for the hit. Thank you. Uh, there was this one 3D stock I was eyeballing, but I forgot the ticker. <laughs> you guys see Jack interview with Steve. Um, I watched it only for the drone portion. Um, I really didn't see too much to watch just because there really isn't a ton of updated information. And I know with a non-disclosure agreement with the Postal Service, he's not going to be able to provide any information in that manner. So I just stuck around or I clicked on it for the uh, for the uh, drone aspect. GS coming in with another 99 cents. I appreciate you, my friend. It really means a ton. You guys are a true blessing. It really, really means a lot. I th thank you so much. Thank you. Duxter, maybe DM, DM changed name. Yeah, they they uh, they actually did a SPAC merger. That's what, how they got there. Definitely, definitely. I'm a, I'm a big fan of IPOE too, guys. Uh, definitely don't sleep on that. That's going to be the SoFi. That's backed by Chamath as well. Uh, I'm a huge, huge so IPOE fan. And with all this stuff going on with Robinhood, you know, even like Nora mentioned, uh, that's something to consider is that they're going to be able to provide that, possibly that type of thing um, through SoFi. Uh, big fintechs are going to be coming out that might start offering that. I'm looking to see, uh, for all you TSMP fans out there, it's going to be interesting to see how they do their... Uh, Humble financial with uh, with that aspect as well. Being able to do blockchain and all kinds of stuff. Sorry, got sucked into the Wall Street bets vortex. <laughs> uh, Randy, what are your thoughts on VGAC? Talking to 23 and me. Interesting. VGAC. Oh, oh, yeah, I, cause I have fee GAC. I don't know, man, that's tough. Cause I was hoping, I was hoping that'd be another, like kind of like a clean energy, green energy type of play, like a renewable energy, man. I don't know about 23 and me. That might be a something I, I don't know about that. Just like, you know, that's the reason why I dump PSTH. I mean, we're running out of things. What's what's he got left, really? I mean, Stripe told him basically no. Uh, everything else that he was really interested in kick, told him to kick rocks. I mean, he's he's running out of stuff, and I just was like, nah, I don't know. I don't know. It's the largest spec, and if he doesn't get it executed, I mean, it's just going to go away. CJ went to sleep. Don't blame him. It's 3 a.m. over there. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Uh, it's probably four o'clock now. We've been going for an hour. Nicholas, I'm in. I'm on Thinkorswim, and they are holding my funds and won't allow me to buy anything. That's crazy, Nicholas. I'm on there too. I haven't tried any of the, any of the, um, you know, stocks that are just roaring in the social media. But uh, I've been able to to make some moves, just not with that. 
Vito, what's going on, my friend? Appreciate you swinging in, checking out the live stream. If you guys are new, smash that subscribe button. If you haven't and you really want up to dates on everything that I do in this, you know, anything revolving around YouTube, go swing over to my uh, Instagram. Everything is posted about this channel. If you want to see the engagement, me and in, in, in engage in all kinds of things, Twitter based, smash on over to the to the Twitter. I do a lot of tweeting, guys. I absolutely like Twitter. Um, and that's where I get a lot of my information and really engage with a lot of people. Uh, and I do like to post on stock twits as well. I, I Guys, it's a, it's a lot. I enjoy it. This is a blast. And you guys are what make it happen. So just remember that you guys are the reason. Skills. I think skills is going to be special. Uh, they definitely, definitely have a good plan in place. And I want to see that execute. Definitely think skills is going to be something amazing. I'm in IPOF. Decided to move my PSTH into IPOF. Chamath will get it done before Bill. Most definitely. Chamath is a beast. Chamath is a monster. I'm down 800 on Doge. They got me sweating this one. <laughs> you guys, I'm telling you what. I was talking to Tim. Duxter's live streaming last night. You guys are all about that. You guys are what's making it hype for me because I'm like, come on, guys. You guys got this. You got this. Let's go. <laughs> Damn, time flies with these fire live streams. That's right. That's right. I'm bringing it this this week, guys. The fire, the flames, it's hyped. Let's go. Let's go. We're already an hour and seven minutes in. This thing, this train is not a stopping. GS Tech Services. Man, I, I GS Tech, that's freaking amazing. Hey, bro, my bro wants to know if TSMP has a chance to go bankrupt. On, on what? For what? What's the reasoning behind it? Like what's his what's his theory for it going bankrupt? Hang in there, Nora. Doge at three, MPLN. What about PCPL? Have you heard of that one? They're growing year by year. I haven't I haven't heard that one. Sam, you always are throwing new ones at me, my friend. I'm trying to stay within the in the drone sector and what's real. You're you're throwing great monsters at me. GS Tech with another 99 cents. Holy smokes, that's awesome. How can I join your Discord, Lucas? I haven't. It's not officially active yet, so uh, it, there's nothing to join quite yet. But once it does happen, um, it, it'll. I'll definitely let you guys know. But he does have an OnlyFans. Don't judge my financial friend. Bam! That's why people are green, and that is why Nora, who's been, who was the first person to join the membership, is now a different color. As you can see, her little token is a different color of green. Bryce, Bryce, what's going on, my friend? What is going on, Bryce? Uh, I'm, you know, I'm a little, little ticked off on some things. I'm a little ticked off because people are messing with my money. Um, but I understand some of the theory behind it. I do. I can't be fully mad. I'm basically like in the middle. I'm definitely in the middle. I understand people wanting to get in on GameStop and just run the thing to the sky. I understand the theory and the thoughts behind AMC. Um, but I think at some point. You've proven your point, and it's time to start getting back to investing. But then I'm also like, hey, guess what? They're leaving all these other stocks that you know they originally were getting in, and they're leaving them, selling everything they got. That's what's driving the prices down. Big people are driving the prices down because they're having to realign. There's just a lot of movement going on. And what that's doing is that's creating some absolute amazing buying prices for some people who are looking long-term, who are looking to retire you know, at, at, in the future. And so they're creating some amazing prices. Bryce, you know how I feel about workhorse. I sold 200 shares today. It hurts my heart. Every time I, you know, every time I say that a tear rolls down my face. Um, I never thought I would do that until $75, but I had to, I had to take, take some risks today. And I went out and made, as you can see, as you can say, see, these are the moves I made today alone. Uh, so I added dragonfly Nano Dimensions, Red Cat, Sins, Tack Off, which is uh, Drone Delivery Canada, TSNP, UAVS, Ag Eagle, MP Materials, and CLII. So that is what I did. Um, and, you know, maybe eventually I'll get back to 1,000 with Workhorse. It just depends. But I feel very, very confident and comfortable with 820. Uh, no more is being taken off of that by no means. Uh, can you give a quick analogy on TSMP? So I, I'm not 100% sure how they made the tie with TSMP and Humble. All I know is that here in the near term, 
basically TSMP, it, the whole, the, the ticker symbol is going away and it's going to be fully all about Humble. It'll be trading as HMBL and it'll be Humble Pay. And uh, basically it's PayPal, Facebook, Amazon, everything that you can think of in that aspect merged into one, into an app. And you're going to be able to do all of that type of thing inside an app into, as of right now, we've heard it's going to be basically distributed in February in 40 countries. And you're basically going to be able to do all kinds of things, whether it's blockchain, uh, crypto, you can do uh, paying and pay for all kinds of things. Um, they, they even have Humble Store where, you know, they just released some merchandise. Humble is going to be a legit thing. I mean, they're basically doing what PayPal and Venmo have done, but they're taking it international and it's going to provide companies that don't necessarily have the best of currencies um, or a the best of ways to engage in doing an exchange. And it's going to provide that service to them. And that's why I feel like Humble is going to be doing some amazing things. I look forward to it a lot. My financial friends cracked me up because of his facial expressions. <laughs> oh, man. Derp. GameStop going to go bankrupt sometime. Gamers don't need them anymore. No, they don't. Have to log those profits, man. I know, I know, but I always told myself I wouldn't sell to. I had a, I actually truly had a price target set for that one, and that was gonna be my plan until I took my initial investment. But you know, it's I didn't fold, I didn't do the origami hands, and you know I didn't sell out on my entire team, um, but I did sell 200 shares. I think that hurt me more than it did them. I want to be like Nora when I grow up. <laughs> I want to be like Tim when I grow up. <laughs> well, I'm older than all of you for sure, Duxter. You can be the coolest uncle, bro. <laughs> you guys are awesome. Thank you, my brother. Join the chat and just wanted him to hear this. Thank you. Yeah, no problem, GS Tech, for sure. You know, I, I truly think that T TSMP, it, it truly is going to have an amazing, amazing future. I think it's just... You know, I keep hearing all kinds of things and I want to do so many videos on it, but I want them to be relevant videos. And I, I don't mean that in like a, but every time I try to do a video, I want it to be full of information. I don't want to just provide a quick five minute video and it just not be, you know, full of and, and impactful. So I'm hearing a lot of things that they chose over the counter um, first for a reason. Um, that way they could work up and build up to then get onto a, you know, a bigger thing like the New York stock exchange, whether it's be the NASDAQ, whatever it is, um, you know, they wanted to work their way up and build up to that. Um, I'm hearing that there's a lot of employees that are taking payments in shares over, um, actual paychecks, uh, whether that's true or not, I don't know, but that's some of the things I've been hearing. I, I just been hearing a lot with, with what they're doing there. And it, it's very special, obviously. You know, Brian Foote came out and said that he is not involved in any bit or like, or, uh, excuse me, crypto anymore. That what is what allowed him to talk about some stuff. Um, and so for him to get rid of all of his crypto because he believes so much into this, he's bringing over Block 30 Labs, which is basically everything that you're going to see in Humble Financial. Like this company has a ton. They have a, a leadership in major, major companies. Some of them are blue chip companies and they're bringing them in into leadership positions. So yeah, most definitely, you know, it, the TSMP still is kind of confusing why they chose TSMP and what really they are bringing to the table, but it's merging into humble pay and it will be merging to HMBL. I think that that is just some finalizations that need to be done. I'm hearing possibly next week, um, but I believe it'll be like a little bit later into February. I'm hoping, fingers crossed. Um, and I think that we'll start to see that change. So we'll just have to see what's going on with that. Vito, awesome. Thank you for the analogy. All in. Ha ha. Boom. Matt, yo, Drone King, what's going on, Matt? I appreciate you swinging in, my friend. Appreciate you swinging in. TSMP is the only ticker for Humble right now. Yes. Uh, only ticker. Well, there's another one um, that is kind of like, ah, I can't remember the exact one, but it's kind of like, a, it, I don't know if it really has an affiliation. There's a guy that I, I put up the other day um, that's talked about the, there's like one that kind of replicates it, but I don't really know its ties. So the only one that I've been focusing on is TSNP uh, because that's the one that's going to be merging um, and that's the one that will be actually becoming Humble Pay. 
uh want to get some but can't buy tsmp on quest trade platform that uh, you know matt I, i'm hearing that a lot I'm hearing that a lot with a lot of platforms um i think eventually you know obviously the price will be probably a lot higher but um i think eventually at some point it'll get to more of a a, a tradable place for sure uh, where's the coffee man? That Nora. So the coffee man is Bryce. Uh, co Bryce is the coffee guy for sure. GS Tech with another 99 cents, bro. I appreciate you, my friend. You are a beast. I thank you, my friend. Thank you so so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thanks. Just being from Canada and on Quest Trade, I need a ticker and get a piece of that. I I completely understand, Matt. I completely understand. You know that's kind of the, one of the unfortunate things and. Um, you know, seeing people that can't get into things that you're talking about and you know, you, I can only understand what it feels like. Cause you know, here I am hyping some things up and then you guys aren't able to, to get into that. You know, like Duxter, for example, he can't get into some, I know some people who are strictly trading in Robin hood and Weeble, they can't get into some, um, you know, that's just, I guess that's just the way it goes, but I, I'm sorry to hear that. But hopefully at some point you'll be able to, hopefully you can. Because, you know, they're comparing it to PayPal. And if you look at PayPal right now, it is currently trading at 240 and some change, you know, $240 and some change. Might be a little bit less now after today, but that's beastly. That is some some amazing stuff. And TSNP is going to be international. 40 countries, guys. 40 countries. Amazing. TSNP is going to be in Canada. Matt, it's going to be in Canada. That was actually one of the big ones that they were promoting. Let me see if I can find it for you real quick. I know I liked it the other day because I was like, yes, to all my Canadian friends. I can't pronounce Saskatchewan. I get made fun of. I'm There's a guy that I work with. He cringes, he says, when I say it. So I'm sorry to all my Canadian people. It's, I can't say Saskatchewan. Maybe I, Maybe I just said it right there. So here's Brazil. They announced Brazil. So Brazil will be there. Uh, here's the new humble humble clothing line. They just put out. Uh, it's Humble Studios announces launch of Humble X Shop. So that is live. Here it is, Matt. There it is. Look at there. That maple leaf never looks so better, so much better. Woo! Looks good on Humble for sure. Looks good. I tell you what, guys. Uh, I don't ever want you guys to think I'm sleeping on ALPP either. I got 800 shares of ALPP. Alpine 4 Technologies is a monster. Uh, obviously, 21 plus subsidiaries doing amazing, amazing things in the drone sector. Really doing amazing things across the board. I think that they're going to be a very, very big time company and always keep in the back of your mind. They also listed for the NASDAQ. So that's always another one to keep in the back of your mind is ALPP. Yeah, that's a great recommendation, Nora. IPOE, definitely. You are bring value to this channel with your knowledge and research. Thanks. GS Tech, I'm honestly, I am constantly, constantly researching. Um, I'm always reaching out, talking to people. Um, it, it's it's something that I really, really, truly enjoy. And that's what I always wanted to really kind of bring to you guys is just, you know, the ability and the knowledge that I can find. You know, it's I may not know everything. Like, I'm not very, very good at options. I, I'll admit that. I'm, I'm not a big calls and puts guy. Um, I, there's still a ton of stuff that I'm learning myself when it comes to the market. But I want to at least provide the best of knowledge and at least say that I did the research to provide it to you guys so that you guys are at least understanding what I'm doing. So uh, I appreciate that. I appreciate the con words. Well, everyone can get one of those awesome sweaters and mine's on the way. Matt, I saw you ordered my friend. I Holy smokes. I appreciate it so much. I really, really do. Um, I was actually, I was hoping that it was you. I was going to message you and tell you thank you. Um, yeah, I, I'm, you got to, you got to follow me on Instagram. You got to post it. And so that way I can share it and let, let everyone know that you got it, my friend. That's awesome. I appreciate it. I'd rock the humble gear. I think it looks pretty dope. I'm not going to lie. I, oof. 
I mean, I might have to to get me a humble shirt too. You know, I'm kind of a, you know, a, a guy that's rocking his apparel, but that humble shirt, whew, the things you can do with H U M B L. Um, uh, Vito. So you know, I kind of talked tonight about this to a bunch of people. I talked to this to about a guy that I've been doing podcasts with. Truthfully, it all depends on what style of trader you are, what uh, what your plans are, how you like to invest. Are you a day trader? Are you a swing trader? Are you a long-term investor? Um, do you have the ability to pay attention You know, a lot more than just maybe letting it set and then forgetting it or looking at it every once in a while? It truly just depends on your style, and that's why I think certain platforms offer better things. If you're looking at more of a day trade, you're looking at more of a swing trade, you're looking at constantly being able to, you know, be engaged in your phone and looking at chart patterns and things like that, then I think you lean more towards some of the stuff that, you know, it could be the Weeble, it could be a, a Robin Hood. But then you got to think, Weeble and Robin Hood don't offer a lot of over the counters. Um, they obviously close down uh, trading when people buy too much. Um, these are things you got to think of. They've had some issues with, you know, their program shutting down. So that's something to think about. But then you got bigger brokerages like Charles Schwab, TD Ameritrade, Fidelity, and you know TD charges um, over the counter uh, when it comes to fees and stuff like that. So they charge a commission every time you do over the counter. I think it's like six ninety five. There's just a lot that you know. It depends on what you're looking at, what you want to accomplish. Um, and so there's really not a best one. It's just what style of trader you are, um, and what and how much you plan on engaging like are you like i said are you going to be involved with your phone for hours and hours or are you only going to be able to look at it ever so often that that's something to think about as well oh oh i gotta catch back up alpp is very interesting i'm looking it up gs tech it's gonna be a monster gonna be a monster they just acquired from it so this is just strictly from a drone perspective they inquire they Acquired and put as a subsidiary Impossible Aerospace, which had an Air Force contract. They went out and acquired Vayu, which was doing some major vaccine, or like not necessarily vaccine, but pharmaceuticals and medicine deliveries out in Africa. Um, they are backed by the Bill Gates Foundation. They also have, I believe, three, two, at least two, at least two, possibly three um, former Tesla employees. Um, so definitely, definitely big involved with the drone sector. Um, definitely have some big things planned for the drone sector. I think it's going to be very cool. Definitely think it's going to be very cool. Moses. Moses. HCMC. Yes. Uh, definitely, definitely on the radar for sure. Um, a guy I work with, I think, just invested a, a million shares into that. Uh, he was talking about that class action lawsuit. Um, and so was uh, Randy, who is a, a true OG. Uh, Randy's been talking about HCMC as well. Uh, definitely, definitely understand why people are investing in that. And if they get that class act or that lawsuit, man, that could be some big time money and that stock might go somewhere. Chamath, baby. Chamath is a B. Samuel, I want to transfer my Robinhood account on Monday. Hopefully it can be done through Fidelity. Don't trust them at all. Uh, I do know that there's a transfer fee, Samuel, of like $75. So just be ready for that. Uh, I'm going to stay with Robinhood. I don't blame you, Duxter. I don't think uh, the only thing that I think could potentially be wrong is that eventually sometime they might get shut down, but uh, there's a good chance it probably won't. The OG shirt is much cooler for sure. I tried to do my best. Uh, an origami shirt will be coming. A drone king shirt will be coming. Um, and there's going to be some others that I'm going to be working on. Uh, but when I'm pumping out videos, guys, and uh, doing live streams and stuff, I, I typically try to, to reserve the weekends for family since I do grind so much during the week. Um, that it's kind of for family. So uh, that's really kind of the time I'll, I'll be able to do with the shirts. But I'm definitely going to start designing some new ones, get them out there so there's a new look. <laughs> Looks even better on the OGs. How do you transfer an account? Uh, Duckster, that's something I'm going to have to dive into because I think there's a chance it could be different for a lot of different ones. Um, obviously Robin Hood may be different than how you would do it with maybe a bigger brokerage. I'm not sure. Lucas, can you offer a beanie and a hat, please? Uh, I can. That is another one that I'm kind of working on. Obviously I wear a hat as you guys can see. Um, these are just a few of my hats, um, inside my closet, which is right back here. 
Uh, there's probably about 60 more hats. I'm a hat guy. Hopefully, hopefully that made sense, Vito. It, and that's in 100%. I think a lot of people would tell you the same thing. It truly depends on what style of trader or how you plan on investing. Because you got to think too, Robinhood, when active, uh, you can trade crypto. Um, you can get involved with some of that. So obviously, like all this Dogecoin that people are talking about, that is done through Robinhood. Um, it can't, like, I can't participate in Coinbase. Um, and obviously, like these major, um, major brokerage firms do not have crypto. So you know, Robinhood does have that, but obviously, we see the the experiences they're having right now. So, like I said, it all just depends on what style of trade or what you plan on getting involved with, things like that. If you're looking to get more over the counter penny stocks, things like that. You might have to look towards a more bigger brokerage firm. If you're looking to play, you know, a little bit more not so risky stocks, some of the more well-known ones, you want to be involved with crypto, then maybe you start looking at some of the like Robinhood and stuff like that. I love a black beanie with a little flea on the front. Heck yeah, that sounds pretty cool. I might have to do that for, obviously we're involved with winter, but I, I might have to do that for sure. Tim, you wouldn't even be able to see it. Duckster. <laughs> Moses, awesome. Crossing my fingers too, bro. Yeah, I hear a lot of people like you're you're definitely not the only one that's, you know, definitely hitting on that stock. It, it's got my interest for sure. I made some massive moves today. Otherwise, I probably would have threw some money at it. But there was a lot of things on sale that I was definitely, definitely like definitely interested in. Oh, pull this up. Definitely pull this up. Trucker style hat, please, with the mesh. Uh, I'm hoping they have that. I think I got it one last time. So, guys, when I first, um, when I first kind of started dabbling in the clothing line, I was messing around by myself, and I started a line called Superior Alpha. And this is one of the hats that I created. Um, so this is kind of what it would look like. I don't know if they had the mesh option or not, but this is definitely the flat bill um, option that I created. And every once in a while, you guys will see this. Um, I wear it in some of my um, some of my videos. It's a red shirt, and it has looks like a mountain on it. Uh, it's called Superior Alpha, and I created it myself, drew it, and everything. I thought it would be kind of cool for you know working out. And um, I only created a couple, and then I moved on from that and started this whole thing. So maybe at some point I'll go back to it. Put me down for a drone shirt when it's ready. You want the Drum King shirt, Darren? Yeah, I'm definitely a. I'm I'm debating on how I want to do it. So I created a, a picture. I created a picture and it has my face. Um, I'll pull it up. So I got this one. Oh come on! I got this one that I was thinking about slapping on a shirt. And then. Or I was gonna do the throne. I don't know if you guys, not, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, you need to because I post a ton of stuff on there. Or it's gonna be this one with a drone. I just gotta figure out and find a good, good, sweet looking, uh, a good, sweet looking um, drone to put on there. Totally need a drone on a shirt for sure. The Drone King's definitely got to have one. So you're going to be getting a Drone King shirt. I just got to design it. I say make a beanie and have Duckster fold cranes to glue. <laughs> oh, God, Tim. Always coming in with the good stuff. Vito, peace, bro. Appreciate the great work. Vito, I hope you hope you come back, man. I really do. I hope you come back. Uh, subscribe to the channel. It'd be amazing, my friend. Appreciate it. Lucas, blink two times if you're the CEO of AG. I wish. That'd be freaking amazing. That would be absolutely phenomenal. How old am I? I'm 32 years old. I'll be 33 in September. Did you say you were playing with yourself, Lucas? Save it for the OnlyFans. Oh, I have to. I have to. <laughs> Darren, Drone King shirt. Hell yeah. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. I'm just debating on whether I, I want to stick with the theme with, with my guy and and create like a drone guy from this and like put a crown on him and that's kind of what I, I might i might do and because this is kind of like my 
my like logo for the channel or do I want to like actually like put my face on there in a crown like that and call myself the drone king I mean that's pretty cool too I think but I don't know how too many people that'd be rocking rocking my face so we'll have to see I might do a I might put a poll out and uh, see what people think do it like the bat signal and the drone signal that's freaking sweet yeah that's and that's kind of what i was thinking randy so like i was really trying to find like a drone like i was really trying to find like a drone that i could put up there in the moon in that and i'm sitting down in the throne um and then that way it kind of it looks really cool uh i just can't find a drone that fits that and doesn't look like the bat signal <laughs> I'm buying the Drone King Origami shirt OG on a better color. And a beanie. Yep. I had to delete that, Tim. I, I just went ahead and just cleared it out of the store. Um, so, because, yeah, I saw how, how that happened. So, I'm, I had to fig I had to definitely get that out of there. You know, I kind of, like, when I ordered this, too, when I ordered this, too, I was thinking that it was going to be a little bit, just a little bit lighter. Um, and I, you know, I'm, I think it's still pretty cool. I think the colors turned out really well. It's popping. Um, and I like everything about it, but I kind of, now I'm like, I wish I would have got it in red cause, uh, I'm a big red, uh, color guy, even though, um, you know, it's not always the best color for the stock market. Uh, but obviously I'm a chief's guy. I, uh, I just like the color red. <laughs> A thrown on a cloud, that'd be freaking sweet. What happened to the beanie? Uh, you want me to create a beanie? I had to look to see what's available, guys. Too, that's the thing is, um, this is from a drop ship comp drop ship company, and I can only do and design the products that they have. So, if you guys are interested in a coffee mug, I can definitely design you a coffee mug. Um, I don't know if you guys have noticed in the back of my video that was like right here. Um, I had a plaque that was hanging up there, but my iPad did an update and when it updated, it started picking up a reflection off of that. So I had to take it down. So I'm debating on whether I get like a big bowl, um, like design a big bowl and get it for like bull market or if I should just really like create a pretty cool like canvas with like my picture on it. So I haven't decided on that either. Got some stuff in the works. Oh, hiccups. Ate too much pizza for dinner. Uh, damn, Randy, Lucas' face as a bat signal and us looking up into the sky. <laughs> flying on drones. Oh, that's hilarious. Could you imagine Duxter come flying in on a drone? <laughs> oh, you guys crack me up. Man, what a freaking week, though, guys. What a freaking week. It, I, my biggest thing is like, what is, what's next week going to be like, what is next week going to be about? <laughs> like what, what are we going to, what are we looking at next week? Like is Ag Eagle going to drop more? Is it going to start turning around? Are like some of these other stocks going to rebound? Are people going to let, you know, lighten up a little bit on the, on the GME? Are they going to just full bore go all out again? Like what, what do we expect? At some point, this has to run out. Like once, and and this is me being real with you guys. Once the stock hits four hundred dollars, who is going out there and just slinging massive amounts of four hundred dollars stock? I mean, I don't know a ton of people who are able to just throw money at a four hundred dollars stock that is has no nothing really going on with it business wise. Like I'm I'm not doing that. I, I would much rather find a company that I know is going to have some decent future, has some decent numbers, is really looking up in the upward direction. Heck, I would much rather throw money at Apple and, and be satisfied with the steady increase than just gambling it away potentially on GameStop or you know, or something like that. Like, that's just my opinion. Tim, I saw it. That's freaking hilarious. JP Morgan, Duxter, I'm actually up uh, about 45% on JP Morgan. Nora, it's really messing up the other stocks. It truly is. And I don't think that that's like the biggest part, you know, from a negative standpoint, they, 
it it doesn't people don't understand how it's affecting that and why it's doing that and that's that's the part that i have a problem with like i get your idea not necessarily yours nora but like when i say that your idea i'm talking about like the big people that are doing this like i get the idea behind it you're trying to prove a point but you proved your point now you're messing with a lot of people's 401ks you're messing with a lot of people's money and that's where it starts to get like hey now like let's let's think about what we're doing here it's really uh, people are pulling money from yes that and that's but that's creates buying opportunities but you have to have the money to buy have and buy those opportunities that's the biggest thing do you think next week is going to be good week for the markets or are we looking to crash here what's your thoughts you know that's something i've kind of talked about matt and i really think it depends on how how this whole you know thing is handled like are they going to keep forcing the hand next week and really just try to take this thing to zero uh or you know take the short to zero um i mean i i don't know um it's it's really hard to say at this point i would hope I would hope that we would have a rebound. I would hope that basically my initial thought for today is it's Friday. It's the last Friday of the month. We're going through, you know, quarterly earnings and people are doing announcements, probably some realigning going on. But then in the back of my mind, I'm like, maybe this is a way for them to be like, look, we're having to make these moves because of this stock being ran up so much. So I don't know. It's really it's truly hard to say. I mean, it really is. I'm hoping for a rebound. I'm hoping for it to be green, but I could also see the Dow dropping to like 28. I could see some, you know, it's just hard, hard to say. It's a vortex, Nora. All money is getting sucked into it. Yes. I'm holding like 20% cash. I, I, I would not be against that, Nora. He's too young to fly. <laughs> Damn, nice. 45% exactly i agree the point has been proven it's gonna backfire but it's gonna have to get bad before people quit and that's the thing that's my problem like you proved your point you've done it if and it's time to move on like that's my biggest thing is like i i and that's why i'm in the middle because now we're starting to see a, a an impact further and greater than just gamestop amc blackberry nokia you're starting to mess with other stuff that people are have like here's and here's my thing guys and i'm just using this because i talk about it so much ag eagle what negative news what negativity have they of revolving around them that caused their stock price to go from literally the other day we hit an, an all-time high of 1510 what caused it to go from 1510 down to nine dollars and 63 cents they made an acquisition. They didn't spend all their cash. They had their vice president of operations come out and do a podcast. They made an acquisition. Like, guys, this was positive, positive news. We've been waiting for it from Ag Eagle forever. Like, they just announced that they were going to have Iowa as a partnership with the hemp deal. Like, positive news and catalysts are coming out for this company that we don't get a lot from. And it drove, drove up to 1510 I understand a pullback. I expected a pullback, but there's no reason why it's back in nine dollars and seventy-seven cents. There's nothing, in my opinion, there's nothing that justifies that other than people pulling out of this stock to go force their hand into other stuff. That's just my thoughts. But that also created a buying opportunity. Would I have ever spent two hundred and fifty or went out and got two hundred and fifty shares additional to make it three thousand two hundred and fifty if this didn't happen? Probably not. So, I mean, there's a, a positive about it too. So we'll just have to see. We'll just have to see. Duckster, would you be looking into the sky running a foot asking other OGs? Hey guys, wait up. <laughs> hey, you'd have to drop your rope down, Tim. I think next week is going to be red as well. And I could see that as well, Duckster. I could. Nora, I'm holding cash as well. I think I don't think there's anything wrong with that, guys. Exactly, UAV has dropped for no reason. I and I, I like, and, and here's another one too. Like Workhorse, for example, I'm not going to complain whatsoever by any means. I'm not going to complain about Workhorse being up because that's been my saving grace. But what other than Joe Biden coming out and saying that it's going to be fully EV, have they done? 
like what have they done we we haven't got an update on backlogs um at least i unless they announced it in the interview with jack spencer or the other interview that steve schrader or yeah steve schrader did i didn't hear anything about filling backlogs i don't know if they've started on any new projects like so that, that's something that you know i was looking for but you know joe biden comes out says they're going to look to go fully ev um and some of the government entities are looking to go fully ev and then this thing just shoots to the moon so obviously the uh executive order that was signed that's forcing the hand for american made so that's another thing but this thing went to forty dollars guys and that's amazing to see if you make 500 on meme stocks but lose a thousand in your other positions it's still a red day yep i said that the farthest it'll pull back was 11 but nope it went to nine yeah, and I saw a lot of people say that it was really settling in at 10, which it was. And then it just like at the end of the day, people were yanking more. Uh, where do you see ALPP in three years? That's It's really tough, GS. And the reason I say that is just because they're in literally 21 plus subsidiaries. And really anything could happen for any of those subsidiaries. So, I mean, they could make more acquisitions. They're definitely looking to go to the NASDAQ. I mean, there's a lot, a lot that could happen. So as far as where it will be, it's hard to say. It, it's hard to say. Like that's one stock that's even hard to say, like what it will actually be like two weeks from now. Great buying opportunity though. Yeah, I agree. I think this presented a great buying opportunity. You know, if next week is red, then maybe I jumped the gun too soon. But, you know, I got it into prices that I, I felt were comf I was comfortable with. 8,000 backlog. Yeah, big time backlog. Why would I be the one stuck babysitting? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Cause you're you said you're the oldest. Just playing Duxter, you know I got nothing but love for you, bro. Yeah. Duxter, I was beyond excited when Tim told me he went live, man. I never I never hit a button on Instagram so fast when he said you were live. I was beyond excited. Beyond excited. You hyped me up, my friend. I was in the middle of making a video and I had to put it on pause. Had to put it on pause. I've been extremely lucky learning and going in big on the OTC alerts and been hitting sold all of my profits today to load up for next week because things will be even bigger sale. You know, I think that's what's tough. That's what's tough. I mean, I, I see I can see both sides. I really can, Randy. I and I see you on Twitter, man. You're doing some amazing things. Um, but I think that's where it's tough. I think I could see some things, you know, rebounding just naturally because obviously I think at some point people are just going to get like tired of the idea of just investing in one stock and they're like, Hey, I need to get back to where I was. Um, I think that there's just, I could see it pull back cause they're still trying to prove a point like it. This is where it gets tough. And this is why an analyst, it's probably hard to have a job as an analyst. I mean, it's probably hard to really just evaluate and put out price targets because of this now like this is going to screw with a lot of things like imagine the people who put price targets out on apple hitting like 165 170 people putting out you know big time price targets for tesla and tesla's pulling back i mean tesla pulled back to 793 today guys 793 that was pushing 900 the other day i mean or yeah 900 so, I mean, these are pullbacks that I didn't think what for for whatever reason. I mean, there's the announcement that Tesla made that they barely missed whatever their price what was it the stock price or whatever. I can't remember what they missed by like some cents. But then they come out and talk about everything else that they're doing and they hit a lot of other numbers, revenue numbers I think it was. There's no reason for that big of a pullback. Like this is just silliness. I hope it's just one more week, Randy. I, I can't I can't keep selling off stuff and, and getting into other things. I mean I know man, I know that some of that stuff is gonna be uh is gonna be looking juicy, but yeah, I'm not gonna be able to just keep selling stuff because I, I plan on this you know, and that's the thing too. I talk all the time with uh with Miguel on the podcast. You know, you can't have everything in your portfolio at eighty percent. Like you have to be well diversified and I feel very good with my diversification. You know, I made Ag Eagle the largest position in my portfolio today by adding the 250 shares um, and subtracting from Workhorse. And then really kind of everything else, I've 
positioned enough to where I feel very, very confident and comfortable with that position. So we're just going to have to see. TSNP, man, I loaded that up. I got it to 30,000. I was very, very, very happy with that. Like, beyond happy. My my true goal for TSNP was 100,000. Um, and I probably could have made that happen if I would have really stuck to the guns early on when it was like, you know, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 cents. Um, my average is because of the more recent buys, it jumped it up to about 20, 20 cents. But I would have really liked to get to 100,000 with that. Restricting trades only makes the people more determined to mess with stocks. And I think that's another thing, too. I think that's another thing, too. You're the drone king. You got to go heavy on the drone stocks. I do, too. I, you know, that's that's something that I believe in, too. I think it's definitely the future. And, um, you know, I've definitely invested my fair share into drone stocks for sure. That's why it's, it's hard for me to sell Workhorse, too. Because, you know, very early on, I was a very... I'm a hard, hard believer in the USPS contract, but the more and more I started doing drones, the more and more I started doing the sector itself, I, I became to realize that they are having a huge, huge play with their horse fly. And it honestly, my opinion, it's going to be bigger than anything they accomplish with their trucks. I think they're, they're cause it's going to be a combo deal guys. I mean, it's, that's, what's going to be so cool is it's going to be a combo deal. The the drone is literally going to take off from the on the truck and it will return to the truck. It's just phenomenal. I think that they literally have it down and it's going to be it's going to be amazing to see. It's going to be amazing to see, guys. You guys got any big plans for the weekend? You guys got any big plans for the weekend? I'm spending the uh, I'm spending the whole weekend with the family, guys. I put out seven videos this week. I, I'm live streaming tonight. It's gonna be a, a chill weekend. It's gonna be a weekend to just hang out. We're going to make uh, some um, pottery with our son tomorrow for uh, Valentine's Day, and um, I'm excited. Looking forward to that. It's gonna be very cool to see. Um. Dogs are outside barking right now. I don't know if you guys can hear them. Um, so we're doing that and then just kind of chilling, relaxing, uh, getting ready for the Super Bowl the following weekend. So uh, got kind of just a relaxed, chill weekend. Hopefully kind of recoup and start to do some organizing for what I got scheduled for this week for, for videos and everything like that. So, man, I feel like I'm coming down off a of sugar high. I'm Man, I was raging out the gate on this one. I was beyond a pump to get in this in this live stream, guys. But I'm definitely by the time Friday night rolls around, uh, like the end of it, I'm definitely like exhausted. I'm like, holy cow, I'm ready to go to bed and like just sleep. It's so nice. When is Valentine's Day? Uh, I'm not sure. I'll have to look. hang out and hydrate this weekend and all next week and get ready for the Super Bowl. Exactly. Exactly. They're cheering they're cheering for Dogecoin laugh out loud. I'm all for that. Go for that. Go for that. Get that thing get that thing to whatever you want to get it to. But leave leave the stocks alone. Leave the stock. But see guys, that's where I feel like they're kind of really flirting with some crazy stuff. I mean I understand that it's their app. I understand that it's their brokerage, their platform. But they're restricting something that isn't regulated. And that is that crypto. So I don't know how they're going to get away with that. I, I'm I'm wondering. Can these SPACs hurry up and announce their mergers? I have warrants for VGAC, CLVR. You know, that's another thing too. I'm kind of wondering like what, when it, have they fully announced when Switchback's going to go into merge? And then obviously, like you said right there, I mean, you got four right there. Heck yeah, it's still going on, Randy. The Chiefs are in the Super Bowl, my friend. Back to back. Run it back. You're going to make me go get my uh, go get my Mahomes shirt on. You're going to go make me get my Mahomes shirt on. I know there's no 49ers fans up in this chat right now. <clears throat> Although I did, guys, I did see... As a 49ers fan, if you guys are 49ers fans, I think, Randy, I don't know, Tim, I think you are because you're a big-time Giants fan. Um, 
I thought we talked about this before though. But uh they were talking there was a rumor going around and it popped up on Twitter that uh Matt Stafford uh, Matt Stafford was traded to the 49ers, but then I think it came out that it might have been false. Um but I don't know how you guys feel about that, but Z O M bro, wait for March news or sell. I'll definitely take a look at that for sure, GS Tech. Rings, Niner Nation. <laughs> yeah, we got uh, we got old Joe Montana. We wanted the the good Joe Montana. He took us to the playoffs though. Love being single and can invest all my money into stocks. <laughs> uh, Valentine's Day is actually my dad's birthday, um, so it's a little bit more meaningful for me too. So. It's pretty cool. My dad was born on. Yeah, that's what I saw, Randy. I saw some guy. He had a blue check mark. I'm a big. I watch um, Pat McAfee's show a ton. I love Pat McAfee's show, and I saw it break on there. And um, I, you know, I think I think Stafford's got some still left in the tank. I think he's better than Jimmy G. I don't know who would take Jimmy G. Probably the Patriots, but I think he's way better than Jimmy G. And you guys have some absolute lethal weapons there when it comes to receivers and George Kittle. You know, obviously you got to start getting a little bit younger from on your defensive secondary, like Richard Sherman and you know some of those guys. Your linebackers obviously got Fred Warner running around there like a, a madman. You know, your front your front seven's pretty solid, but yeah, I'm a big time sports guy. I'm telling you guys, once I if I can truly go full time on YouTube. I'm going to create a second channel and it's going to be dedicated to sports and that thing is going to eat. That thing will eat. I'll love, love making videos on sports as well. Yeah, he's he's definitely a... I can't believe they signed him like that. That is... Man. I think the Rams are going to can um, Goff too. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a big McAfee show guy. I, I love that show. Love it. I want Bernie Sanders to be my Valentine. Well, I'm sure there's a meme out there, Nori, you can create with with him uh, being there for you. Miguel's blowing on my phone. What's he got to say? February 11th for Switchback Energy. February 9th, NIAQ. Stafford sucks. 49ers want to do shit. Salary cap is dumpster like the Rams. Bam! That's my guy right there. That's my dude. That's my dude. Just so you guys know, Miguel is the biggest Chiefs fan out there. And, uh, I, you know, I, I can understand why. You know, I thought I was a big Chiefs fan. Miguel is a Chiefs fan. Oh, the one of the best days of my life. First one was in high school, sweetheart, and we are cool. Second one is a spawn of Satan. Well, I mean, that's a... Uh, I don't think it gets worse than that. Sherman is gone. We got a mobile QB and we stay healthy. We go into the ship. Hey, Randy, just remember uh, his name is Patrick Mahomes. The second. The third second. I always forget the numbers, but he's definitely a Mahomes. I'm going hiking on Valentine's Day. Recently joined UFC gym. Got back to working out. Really wanted to one of my son to learn self-defense. He's five. That's awesome, Samuel. Good stuff. Good stuff. I like to hear that. Family time. I know it's mittens that do it for me. You know, when he when I saw that live on TV, I'm not going to lie. I was like, where did he get those? And then I was thinking, could I slap my logo on the mitten? And then who would buy those mittens? A lot of people. You dislike her more than your financial friend. You've been going hard at the financial friend. I was looking today to see if anybody commented to him. I, I tried to find it, but he had over like 900 comments. And I'm like, yeah, I'm not about to sit down and cipher through this. My homeless. I mean, What's crazy to think is there's a plaque hanging at one Arrowhead Drive, um, and that is a card of the draft for Patrick Mahomes, and it shows that the Bills traded that pick to us in order to take Patrick Mahomes. 
So just saying how the Bills felt when they were playing us last week. Yeah, Nora, Tim snapped one off on uh, on that guy last night. It was epic. I like to see Brady take another ring. Hell no, Samuel. No. Yeah, Nora, he did. He he went all in. <laughs> you guys are awesome. You guys are absolutely awesome. I'll send you the pic of what I commented on his Doge video last night. <laughs> yeah, he he fifty six thousand views. Fifty six thousand views the last time I saw. Who knows what it's at now that now that's Friday night and I know a ton of people watch videos. Let's see where we're at. Two thousand five hundred and eighty four. I can live with that. Trying to get to 3,000, guys. Trying to get to 3,000. 3, Not 300, 3,000. Well, guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this one up. It We are pushing two hours. Holy smokes, what a freaking night, guys. What a freaking night. Absolutely phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. I can't thank you guys enough. I, uh, man, all the donations, you guys are a true blessing. Like, it means a ton. It means the world to me. It really, truly does. And like I always say, guys, I mean it from the bottom of my heart. This is bigger than me, much bigger than me. This is about you guys, and I do it for you guys. So... Man, you guys are amazing. Well, time for Mario Kart Switch with the daughter. See y'all at the gram. Randy, take it easy, my friend. Appreciate you swinging in. True OG. Watched one of the guys' Dogecoin videos at the end. And he was like, yeah, I put $30 into it. I was like, seriously, shut up. He got you, Nora. He made you watch all the way to the end. I appreciate you guys. You guys uh, have a phenomenal, phenomenal weekend. Hopefully, you guys get to spend it however you want to spend it. Enjoy it. Um, get ready, get prepped for next week. Videos are going to be dropping. Hopefully they're going to be amazing. Um, I got some plans. I got some things lined up. I want to talk about, we'll see if I uh, end up changing the plans. Clearly I I've been asked to do a EH video and E hang video. So that's probably definitely going to come, uh, for Nathan, Nathan Solomon. And, um, there's some other drone stocks I want to kind of get involved with. So expect some more on that field. Uh, especially in that front hopefully maybe another tsmp video some other things coming down the line um i'm definitely going to attempt to send out uh, a watch list video and just see if that happens uh last week i started doing three videos and then the week before that it blacked out on me so i only got halfway through and it was was not a good end to the video so those are the plans um and i do Always end every live stream, every video with have a good day because I truly mean it. So you guys, have a good day.